was one of the things that, that drew you here also, you know, the, the opportunity, uh, did you see, uh, I guess that, uh, you know, with the release of, of Malcolm and Adoree, that uh, there'd be some pretty good opportunity to uh, to be a starter here? Oh, of course. Um, I'm not concerned about nothing. Um, if I go, I'm going to be a ball, I'm a ball. I'm going to continue to ball and just lead. Um, and I see the program going in the right direction. Thank you. Teresa. Uh, welcome to town, uh, Janoris. Uh, how much do you know about Kevin Byard? Have, you, have your paths ever crossed with him? And, and you know, how much is it, uh, how nice is it to have a, a safety like that in that secondary as you come in to, to try to help make this unit better? Um, to answer your first question, um, I never ran by him, but you know, as you watch film, you notice know guys on film that make a lot of plays. Um, he was one of the guys that I noticed uh, probably two, three years ago making plays. And um, just to be a part of it is special. Um, hopefully, we can build, be something good, be something great over here, and just win a lot of football games. Buck. Yeah, what's going on, Janoris? Uh, what do you know about Coach Mike Vrabel before coming to Tennessee, and and what do you kind of like about the the style of defense that they've kind of had under him, and and now uh, Shane Bone as the coordinator? I just knew him as an NFL player before he came over here. Um, once he got over here, you know, outside team looking in, organization, not to control the football, play great defense, and that's all you need for a winning uh, organization. So I just feel like the step that he's taking, he's going to continue to take, it's just perfect for me. I'm just happy to be here. Gentry. Yeah. Janoris, how surprised were you at, at how things ended in New Orleans and um... – you know, how long into the process until you, you kind of realized you would be headed to Tennessee? Um, at the end of the day, it's real simple to me, man. Business is business. Um, I never came in the league wearing my feelings on my sleeve. So I understand the business part of it. Um, and I'm just happy. I'm just happy to be playing somewhere else, or even playing football, um, because everything is a business. Paul? Hi, Janoris. Um, you got a reputation as being pretty feisty, and you mentioned uh, leadership already. How much um, do you consider that part of your role and part of why you're here? My role here is to come in and play football, um, lead by example. I'm not a guy that's going to yell at younger guys, get on them. I'm just going to try to pick their brain, help them understand certain things and formations and just play football. Um, I play with a chip on my shoulder on my shoulder because I'm from a small city, um, Pahokee, Florida, known as the Muck, and I like to win. Um, if you look at my background from high school to college, all I did was win. And every level I like to compete, so that's what I'm here for. Thanks. David Beauclair. You know, Norris, after 10 years in the league, what kind of things do you do differently these days to maintain your conditioning, your speed, you know, at a, at a position where you can't really afford to slow down, right? Right. Um, well, I, like I said, I'm going into year 10. You work on long distance running out. Um, your hips, you know, just always being available. Um, just make sure you're healthy and available and just doing the small things. Um, you don't have to go in the weight room and lift 300, 400 pounds. Just keep small muscles around your body, just, you know, active, and you'll be okay. Teron. Yeah, Jack Rabbit, uh, looking at what the, the Titans like to do as far as a lot of man defense and, and their coverage, how well do you feel your coverage skills, your advanced coverage skills will, will match up with what the Titans do, and how much did that have to do with your selection to, to come to Nashville? I'm a man-to-man -man corner. Um, I'm sure y'all heard about it, um, know about it. And just playing within the scheme, Not never try to do too much. I always do what I got to do, you know what I'm saying, to put my team in the best position to win. Um, I understand the game now since I've been playing for so long, so I understand how people are going to attack certain things, and I just work on that during the offseason, baby. Jim Wyatt. 
Hey, you know, do, do most people call you Janoris or they call you Jack Rabbit and maybe? Um, Jack Rabbit. When y'all was calling me Janoris, I almost got upset, but I didn't. I was just kept saying Jack Rabbit, but um, just refer to me as Jack Rabbit if you guys don't mind or Rabbit. Um, I've been going by that since I entered the league, and um, Jack Rabbit it is, baby. How come? How come? Well, I'm from Pahokee, Florida. Um, uh, your preference? Um, I'm from Pahokee, Florida, a small town in um, Pahokee near West Palm, and we just known to chase rabbits. And um, I got to college my first year. I went early, making a lot of plays, but I didn't know no plays. And after the film, my coach just started calling me Jack Rabbit. And after that, I just ran with it. Teron. Another thing I want to ask you about is just the communication and how important that is for a defense. You know, you, you down there in New Orleans, Malcolm Jenkins was a really good facilitator and communicator. How can you and, and some of the safeties like Kevin Byard and those guys be able to get a high level of communication? Because that was something that was an issue for this team last year. Uh, I was starting practice. Um, each and every day, you got to communicate. Um, everybody got to know what's going on. Even if everybody know what's going on, but the wrong play, we all still on the same page because everybody know what's going on. Um, communication is key. Just got to keep working it, working it until the season starts and build up on you know, communication. <laughs> 